things that happened in 1958, and I'm going to get off into a tangent here in a second. There was a recession. Unemployment increased to 7%, or 5.2 million people. That was a recession for them. Look now at our current period of economic recovery. We have roughly 96,500,000 people who are out of work but are not being counted as out of work. These are people who are no longer in the workforce. That means they have been without a job for so long that no social safety net no exists for them anymore. They are therefore no longer counted as unemployed, despite the fact that there are 96,500,000 of them. Again, compared to the 1958 recession, 5.2 million people. And admittedly, the U.S., uh, I don't know what the U.S. population was then, maybe half, but still that doesn't translate, doesn't scale. You could double, triple, quadruple that, and you're still not going to hit. Let me see. You nearly, yeah, it's about nine times. So if you increased that by nine times, that does not keep pace with the population growth in the United States at all. So 96,500,000 people are out of work, but not counted as being out of work because they have fallen off the rolls of unemployment and things like that. These are the people that you see living under one of California's, Southern California's many beautiful overpasses or in their homeless encampments because they don't dare stay around here this time of year because they might freeze to death. Now, we do have a number of 12,110,000 that they count as actually unemployed. Again, bogus number. Real number is that plus 96,500,000. And the entire U.S. population is about 330,000, a little less, 330,000-ish. Of that, they suggest, federal numbers, suggest that about 156 million of them are in the U.S. workforce. So let's take, for kicks, we will take the 96 million five that are unemployed but aren't counted as unemployed, add that to the 12,110,000 who are counted as unemployed and then let's just for kicks divide that by the total population of the United States that number will give us the percentage of people against the entire population of the United States that are out of work in this country when we do we find that it's 33 percent now that's against the actual total number of people in this country in the United States Let's run it against the people they count as being in the workforce. So if we uh, take our 96,500,000 who are actually out of work, add it to the 12,110,000 who are out of work and counted as such, and then divide it by 96 million plus uh, the 156,000, because that will give us um, the uh, actual number of people in the workforce, we find that more than 40% of the U.S. workforce is unemployed. Let me say that again. At the present time, in what is supposed to be a booming economy, something like 43% of the U.S. workforce is without jobs. All the numbers that you hear are completely bogus. See, government numbers are intended to do two things. The first is to reassure the populace that everything's fine, everything's cool, it's all getting better. And the other thing is to communicate to any potential enemies that you cannot touch us. Doesn't matter what you do, we will give you the beatdown of your life. So when you see those numbers, assume they're wrong. Go out to usdebtclock.org. I didn't remember to it. I'll put a, a link to it in the description below. And take a look at some of the real numbers. Because those are real numbers. They're not the jerry-rigged, bogus numbers that the federal government feeds us. Regardless of who is in office, they always do it. Keep in mind, too, that when we get up to, uh, to numbers of 33 and above percent, the Great Depression of the 1930s only peaked out at about 24 percent unemployment. I continue to say, if it were not for, for social programs, we would have bread lines. We would have soup kitchens. The homeless encampments and people living underneath bridges would be even worse than it is now. The problem is, those same social programs are part of what's causing the problem. What do you do? 
I have an idea what you do, but it would be painful. There is nothing that you can do right now to solve this problem that wouldn't be painful. But do not listen to the numbers that are going around because they are not accurate. They are jury-rigged and bogus, as they always have been and always will be. There has never been a time when those numbers have been accurate. Never have they been accurate. They have always been bogus.